Mr. Seal! Not me! Raise your gun. You're gonna have to kill an unarmed man. Watch my hand. Nice and easy. Shane does a pacifying behavior with his lips. A pacifying behavior is a way of the mind to release emotional stress and is controlled by the limbic system. Shane is under an incredible amount of emotional stress and this shows us something interesting about his character. He never wanted to kill Rick, but he thought he had to. Shane then grips his gun after Rick disarms himself. Shane believes that Rick is trying to de-escalate the situation and Shane holds a calm expression briefly until he then grips the gun and does another pacifying behavior with his mouth. This shows us that Shane is having mixed feelings about killing Rick. Those pacifying behaviors highlight his internal conflict. Shane briefly goes into a state of calm when Rick is de-escalating the situation. He doesn't want to kill him but believes he has to as he thinks his leadership is going to get the group killed. Now listen to me, Shane. There is still a way back from this. Nothing has happened here. And we're gonna lay down our guns. We're gonna walk back to the farm. Together. Shane then gets calmer as Rick speaks to him. Both of them were cops and both are trained in de-escalating situations similar to this one. Shane thinks that Rick can't protect himself or his family, which lulls him into a false sense of security. He doesn't see Rick as a threat. Back to Lori. Back to Carl. Shane's eyebrow tenses slightly and his eyes seem to relax. We do this before we start to cry and it shows strong emotional stress. This isn't a pacifying behavior, it's an expression of grief or sorrow. Shane is emotionally upset about the situation, and you can see he really doesn't want to kill his best friend. Put this all behind us. However, as this scene progresses, he does another pacifying behavior with his mouth and also does a micro expression of a smile. I think that that's him thinking to himself that Rick has just proved his weakness by handing over his gun. It helps reassure him that Rick isn't fit to lead anymore, which is shown by a slight smile which indicates amusement, not to be mistaken for happiness. The irony of this situation is that this was the moment when Rick proved himself as a leader capable of survival. Rick was cunning, whereas Shane was more hot-headed, and Rick outsmarted him, which maintained his leadership of the group. Also, Shane proved his weakness as he was unable to shoot Rick when he had the chance, whereas Rick didn't hesitate to stab him. Damn you for making me do this shit! This was you, not me! You did this to us! This was you, not me! Not me! Not me! Rick then does a distancing behavior when he looks away from Shane. A distancing behavior is a way for the body to put distance between itself and a stressor. Rick diverts his eyes from Shane to put distance between himself and what he has just done. <laughs> Rick doesn't blink at all here, that's because he's in shock. He's pumping with adrenaline and his body is totally focused. He shows numerous signs of shock here, he inhales rapidly and he looks around randomly. He then gets up and scratches his head with both hands which is another pacifying behaviour. <laughs> ah, no. 
Overall, this scene is just insane. It's the first moment in The Walking Dead that makes it more than just a zombie show. It's about the characters. The acting was amazing here, and I would say that this is probably the hardest scene I've ever analysed, simply because Shane's body language is all over the place, and I think it was intentional. He goes from anger to calm to intense sadness, to then showing a smile, all in a few seconds. But I think I've been pretty accurate in my analysis. His smile wasn't pleasure or happiness, it was almost reassuring himself that Rick isn't fit to lead. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And also check out my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel further. Thanks for watching.